Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to diagnose a problem on your hot water cylinder or well in my country it's known as a geezer um, so yeah let's get started what sometimes would happen you'd probably notice nothing in your water is just cold and you have to figure out what's the problem the other thing that could happen is your circuit breaker might trip if it's just an overload circuit breaker the white one it should just trip and otherwise if it's connected on earth leak it's the earth leak is my trip now first thing you got to do is make sure there's actual power coming to your hot water cylinder so let's take off this cover and see this is just an old uh, hot water cylinder lying around here i'm just going to show you an example on this one and also show you the different uh, types of thermostats and uh, elements that these take okay let's open it up so when you open up the hot water cylinder, this is what you should see. Um, with the main cables coming into live and into the neutral connection. So first thing that you should do is check if there's voltage on there. In my case, 230 volts. Some, well, some other countries should be 110 volt. But just make sure the live and neutral is there. Then you know your circuit breaker is fine. The problem should be on your, your hot water cylinder itself and uh, different types of thermostats this one actually plugs into the geyser element itself which is inside here some of the other types like this one it's uh, either slots into the, the little slot on the element or on the slot next to the geyser element itself maybe around about here so uh, yeah it's it does the same job the only thing here is the live wire is the only one going through this one well, in this case, the live and neutral is on here. That makes sure with your incoming wire that there's live and neutral on there. So to test this one, we'll just pull it out. Just pull it towards you. And uh, so that you can have the two points exposed at the back here. There should be two points at the back that you can put your tester on. So if the power is on here, there should be power on here in some on so, in some cases when you turn this dial you'll hear a click sometimes not but just make sure if there's power here and you pull this out there should be power on the back too here then you know this thing is working if you turn it to off there should be no power turn it on there should be power on the back here this is just a thermostat to de determine how hot the water should be if there's not no power coming out the back here then you know the thermostat's not working uh, usually when your water is just cold it's a thermostat Otherwise, if it's tripping, it's usually not the thermostat, but it might also be the thermostat water leaking into the thermostat from this little pocket here. I'll just pull this out all the way and you can see. These are the little points that I told, told you about where is this, the power should be. Uh, if there's power connected here, it should be here as well when you turn this dial. Uh, if there's no power, Either way, when you turn the dial, you know the thermostat is bad. You can replace this. If this is still working, uh, but the water is still not hot, then it has to be the element. The elements on the inside here, you'll have to take this off to get to the element. This uses uh, 13 millimeter bolts to, to disconnect, and you slide this whole thing out. Otherwise, with the older types, you need a big socket to take the element out, to unscrew the element works on the same principle just a bit different uh, different design so let's take this out and I'll show you one thing before opening these uh, hot water cylinders uh, you've got to turn off the, the inlet water valve. Close that tap so that no water rushes in. Then you've got to open up your outlet, your drain pipe. Uh, open that up, let the water drain out. What I do when it's outside, not in the roof space, I open this up slightly. Keep some of the bolts in, open it up slightly, it drains quicker. Otherwise it's going to wait a long time for it to drain. And then, uh, yeah, let's open it up.
and there's your old used element you can see the pocket in there as well uh, sometimes these rust through and the water runs into your thermostat I'll just replace both the uh, element and the thermostat usually I do replace both if you're charging people to go out and have a look at the geyser and one of the two is, is broken then uh, I replace both because you don't want them paying in a month's time again to, to, to replace the other part if it's a thermostat to replace the element then or vice versa so I usually replace the thermostat and the element and if it's open always bring along a spare gasket flange always bring along a spare gasket because these do rot out and they do leak out so replace the, the gasket replace the th uh, element and the thermostat if it's for yourself trying to save some money just replace the broken part you can do the work yourself again in a few months time if it breaks if you're doing it for someone else I'll replace all three of those components then to loosen the element just release this allen cap screw here and it should pull right apart take this gasket off and replace it with a new one uh, I don't use sealant because these gaskets are very good at sealing and just replace the, th the element put in the new the new one thermostat and just put everything back together one way if you want to see if it's working you put everything back together again switch it on uh, you want to see if it's working check your electricity meter if it starts flashing or if you've got one of the disc meters if it starts turning quickly if you switch on the geyser then you know that it's drawing some current it's drawing the correct amount of current um, just make sure when putting it back together that your thermostat's at the correct temperature um, we use degrees centigrade so I usually put it around about 60 65 I never put it at maximum it seems too hot so uh, yeah right about 60 is where I like to keep it so just make sure yours is at the correct temperature and that it is up if it's switched off it's not going to work so yeah just double check that before putting everything back together okay guys I hope that helps uh, if it helped you hit the like button and uh, yeah enjoy your day